A devastating illness had her down, but Princess Charlene is far from out. Here's what the Princess of Monaco has been up to as she regains her strength. In 2020, Princess Charlene's health was in serious jeopardy. According to the Prince's Palace of Monaco, the princess developed a severe ENT infection on a trip to South Africa. As a result of this illness, she was unable to come home to Monaco for a whopping six months. And even after she came home, she was unable to fulfill her royal duties. Soon, the princess's absence from royal life provoked suspicions that there was something wrong with Albert and Charlene's marriage. These rumors only worsened in 2022, when Charlene spent months at a health facility in Switzerland. Some European tabloids speculated that she had ditched the palace for good. At the end of the day, though, rumors are just rumors. And with Charlene seemingly on the mend in 2023, the Grimaldis have not hesitated to push back against the gossip. Indeed, the year has ushered in a version of Charlene that appears stronger than ever. In the months that followed Princess Charlene's infection, the royal did not exactly appear to be in peak physical condition. In fact, at least one source claimed that the princess's illness was way more serious than some royal fans seem to think. As someone reportedly close to Charlene told Page Six, "...we don't know why the palace is downplaying that she almost died in South Africa. She has not been able to eat solid food in over six months because of all the surgeries she has since gone through. She has only been able to take in liquids through a straw, so she lost nearly half her body weight." Despite having endured what has been described as a traumatic medical experience, Charlene seems to have improved substantially. Indeed, in a 2023 conversation with the local outlet, Monaco Maiton, the royal described her physical condition in a much more optimistic light, saying, "...today I feel in great shape, happy and serene." And as she began to recover, the former athlete told the press that she was already dreaming of getting back into the swimming pool. Chatting with Monaco Maiton about her physical health, Charlene opened up about her desire to dive back into her favorite type of workout. The princess shared, "...I hope to be able to return to sports soon. I would like to get back into swimming training, to regain a little more energy and feel stronger." I think the party starts now. During the period when Princess Charlene was struggling with her health, she was not able to be a present parent. After all, during the six months that she spent in South Africa, Charlene was only able to see her children, Prince Jacques and Princess Gabriella, on one occasion. Sadly, though, space was not necessarily the only thing keeping Charlene away from her kids. According to Prince Albert, the princess's energy levels were also making it difficult for her to interact with Jacques and Gabriella. As he told People, "...she was clearly exhausted, physically and emotionally. She was overwhelmed and couldn't face official duties." life in general, or even family life. By 2023, however, that dynamic seems to have changed. On the royal twins' first day of school, Charlene could be spotted guiding the two children to their school. Reflecting on this outing with Monaco Maiton, Charlene seemed to be happy to share this moment with her kids. This is the first time that Jacques and Gabriella will not be in the same class. This is a big step for them, and it feels good to me. Of course, Princess Gabriella and Prince Jacques were not the only ones who have spent a great deal of time away from Princess Charlene. Throughout the princess's illness, she was also separated from Prince Albert, even on important dates. As Charlene explained in an official statement, "...this year will be the first time that I'm not with my husband on our anniversary in July, which is difficult, and it saddens me. However, Albert and I had no choice but to follow the medical team's instructions, even though it is extremely difficult." Despite the distance between them, Charlene reaffirmed the strength of the couple's relationship, declaring, "...he has been the most incredible support to me." In 2023, however, the couple says that this dynamic has changed. Apparently, Charlene's improved health has allowed her to spend much more time with Albert. As the prince told Corrier, "...Charlene had some difficulties many months ago now, but now, thank goodness she is over it and is always by my side." Naturally, though, the monarch did not mean that in a literal sense. Albert added, "...she supports me in leading the principality, and we are not attached to each other 24 hours a day. We are also a working couple, and work sometimes allows us to see each other only at the end of a long day full of appointments." A lot of sometimes uh, slightly difficult moments, but I think we're well over those. Family time is not the only thing that Princess Charlene missed out on during her absence from Monaco. While she was in the midst of her health battle, the former Olympian found herself too ill to perform her royal duties. As Prince Albert told People at the time, Charlene had to take a step back from public life, saying, "...she was suffering incredible fatigue, 
she hadn't slept well in a number of days, and she wasn't eating at all well. She has lost a lot of weight. According to Albert, the cause of these ailments had something to do with the, quote, consequences of her different surgeries and the procedures she underwent in the last few months. In 2023, however, Charlene has appeared to be much more present at official events. She not only attended the Formula One Grand Prix of Monaco, but also the official launch of TV Monaco. And at the later event, Albert was quick to remind the press of his wife's quiet presence. Per the Daily Mail, the prince said, I'm very proud to be here with Princess Charlene. Interestingly, when he chatted with Corrier, Albert was similarly emphatic about his wife's return to royal duties. The monarch claimed, Charlene is always by my side. Yesterday, we received the new French ambassador to Monaco together. We were together in the Casino Square for the Princess of Monaco Cup charity golf competition. While Princess Charlene was ill in South Africa, she was not able to travel at all. And once she finally returned to Europe in November of 2021, the royal headed straight to Switzerland, where she remained in a treatment facility for upwards of four months. During this time, the concept of taking a frivolous vacation across the world might have seemed impossible. After all, as Prince Albert told People, the most important aspect for Charlene was her health. Luckily for Princess Charlene, 2023 saw a major shift in this dynamic. One of the highlights of her year seems to have been a trip to Corsica, where Charlene was spotted hugging Albert at the beach and paddleboarding with her kids. Reflecting on the importance of this getaway, Charlene told Monaco Maiton, It's an island that gives me renewed energy. I like landscapes, the greenery, the sea, the people. As a family, we feel very comfortable there. As for the future, the princess hinted that this would not be the last time she would go to the island, sharing, To tell the truth, I don't want to go on vacation anywhere else in the world. The beaches are so beautiful, the mountains welcoming, it's a little paradise. And of course, she has other favorite destinations. I am African. This is my home. It will always be. It's in my, it's in my heart, it's in my vein. Prior to 2023, Princess Charlene gave plenty of interviews. However, during the time that she was recovering from her illness, the princess's conversations with the press were very focused on her health. In fact, when she spoke to Monaco Maiton in December 2022, Charlene admitted that she still had not fully recovered from her traumatic experience in South Africa, divulging, The road has been long, difficult, and so painful. While the princess did touch on lighter topics, like raising her children, even those conversations were tainted by an air of struggle. In the same interview, Charlene revealed, When I returned to the principality, I focused all my energy on my children, my husband, and my health because they are my priority. My state of health is still fragile, and I don't want to go too fast. Almost one year later, however, this dynamic seems to have changed substantially. In a September 2023 conversation with Monaco Maiton, Charlene spoke much more about the happier parts of her family life. The princess spoke extensively about her children, noting, more generally, Gabriella has a passion for hip-hop dance. Jacques practices Taekwondo. She also opened up a bit about her parenting style, telling the outlet, The importance of the twins participating in sports is to give them a good education, self-confidence, and a happy childhood. In September of 2023, Princess Charlene told Monaco Maiton that these days you can find her preparing Prince Jacques and Princess Gabriella for their respective royal futures while trying to give them as normal a childhood as possible. As she explained, Above all, my husband and I think it is important that at school and in their daily activities, they live like any other child their age. They are only children, but subject to public scrutiny. Of course, giving Gabriella and Jacques a sense of normalcy does not mean that the twins skip out on all royal duties. The pair can often be spotted at major events, like the Grand Prix or the Principality's annual Christmas gift drive. Thus, as far as Charlene is concerned, this means that her kids are learning enough about who they are. Speaking to Monaco Maiton, the princess opened up about what she does to support them as they discover the implications of being royalty, saying, They are already aware of their role in Monaco. The main thing is to communicate, answer their questions, and help them take their first steps. <laughs>